Hi everyone, Leanne here. I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to go over my October Currently Inked, provide some ink swatches and writing samples as well. I just happen to love muted autumnal colors and so all the inks that I chose today um, are part of my fountain pen ink collection and I am really really excited to uh, talk about them, swatch them, write, you know, offer writing samples. Um, so here we are. My supplies. We've got my Hobonichi A5 plain notebook. Um, it is currently covered with the Midori A5 paper cover. I have my Traveler's Company brass clip. This is going to ensure that my pages lay completely flat. Um, I have a stack of condiment cups. This is kind of new. I had this epiphany recently where instead of just using one and having to clean it every time, why don't I just use up all the condiment cups that I have, do an ink swatch, set it aside, and then at the end of all of my ink swatching, clean them all at once. I think that will be easier, uh, less time consuming. So I have, um, I don't know, like a cadre. I've got a squad of condiment cups here. Then I also have my one of my favorite writing implements. This is the Kakimori glass nib pen, and it is housed in the Kakimori cherry wood holder. Unfortunately, the, the glass nib is sold out everywhere. I don't know if they're going to make more. It is handmade, um, and I think that's why I love it so much. There's just so much character and um, craftsmanship in creating this beautiful writing implement. and. It holds a lot of ink, and if I wanted to, I can almost write an entire page of an A5, uh, A5 sheet of paper. And then I have this pen holder. This is from a calligraphy set that I bought online from Maybell.com. I don't know if they're still around. Probably. She's a professional calligraphist. Is that a word? Calligraphist? established in 2003 Oakland California and she had also um, handwritten my name and so it's just got a lot of character I don't really use these inkwells or don't really use this anymore for dip pens or for the when I was learning calligraphy I don't really use it for that purpose anymore but I do use it for my fountain pen ink swatching and then I have two plastic cups of water these are like 20 ounce cups this is for just for um, aesthetics. It's a it's an, uh, a marble egg that my one of my sisters gave me as a gift with like a beautiful gold foil at the bottom. And then probably my most recent addition is this stoneware sink caddy. I got this at Target. It was in the Magnolia home goods section. Um, yeah, I, I know that I've since, I used to swatch a lot of my inks using glass jars, whether they be jam jars or mason jars. And whenever I would use my glass dip pens, I would swish it around and in like tapping off the excess water, I'd accidentally nick it. Or with the glass cups, I would somehow break my glass nib pens or dip pens. And it's probably a sign that I shouldn't continue using glass dip pens. Um, so right now what I'm doing is using plastic cups instead. So uh, the sink caddy I think is doing a wonderful job. It's really sturdy. It's going to ensure that my cups don't tip over. This on the other hand it's going to be in this section here. I can't guarantee that it's not going to tip over but if I can be gentle I'm hoping that I'll be okay. I have seven inks that I'm going to um, swatch and showcase today. Oh gosh, I'm in love with this ink. This is uh, Sailor Manyo Shirakashi, but I love this ink because it is this muted um, greenish brown ink that changes color from wet to dry. When, it, when it's wet, it's really dark. And then as it dries, it dries to like a muted green. So I, I can't wait to showcase this ink. So I'm gonna um, swatch that ink. I have Weringol Kyonghee, one of my favorite perennially, perennially inked inks. I have this in my Twisby Eco Clear. My Sailor Sh Shirakashi, by the way, is inked in, it 
is inked in, oh, my Twisby Mini in Rose Gold. Uh, I had this currently uh, previously inked with Tang Misa Blue and it was one of my favorite ink and pen combinations, but I recently ran out and then inked it, uh, just recently inked it with Shirakashi. Okay, set this aside. Then I also have Sailor Shikiori Tokyo Amatsu. That's inked in my Leonardo Memento Zero. Diamine Green Umber, inked in my... Um, in my Traveler's Company Factory Green pen. Diamine Ancient Copper is inked in my Twisby Eco in Rose Gold. White in Rose Gold. Then I have Wearingal Othello. This is inked in my Twisby Mini Clear in a 1.1 stub nib. And then last but not least, this is Wearingal Architecture Infinite Cube. And I have this inked in my Platinum 3776 Shape of Heart. Let's see. So why don't we try Architecture Infinite Cube? I love this ink. It's dark. It's saturated. Uh, it is like this lovely dark brown ink that reminds me of um, Pilot Iroshizuku Tsukushi but it doesn't, it doesn't have that purple undertone that Tsukushi has. Okay. Also, I have paper towel. So I'm cleaning my eyedropper between inks. There we go. Also, I have J. Urban um, blotting paper here. This is wearing all. It is such a rich, rich brown. You know, why don't I go ahead and provide a writing sample as well with the pen? It is inked with my Platinum 3776 Shape of Heart. Okay, I'll do it down here. And this is in a fine nib. And, and I'll do a little ink swatch there. I love it so much. There we go, that is Shape of Heart. Now we will do Let's do a shimmer ink. This is wearing all Othello. This is like a gray, almost grayish, but more gray, a gray ink with silver shimmer. Actually, instead of using my Kakimori nib, why don't I just go ahead and use the pens that they're inked with? Okay, so with Othello, I've paired it with my Twisby Diamond Mini, and this is in clear. Coincidentally, another wearing all ink. Wearing all. I 
I haven't really written with this pen much. So, but it looks like it does offer some shading. I mean, what makes it stand out for sure is the shimmer. Uh, let's see. Twisby Mini. And this is in a 1.1 stub nib. So it's broad down strokes and very, very fine cross strokes. Let's do, let's do one of my favorite inks at the moment. It's Sailor Manyo Shirakashi. And now that I'm all about this ink, I recently made the connection that the uh, Sailor Manyo or the Sailor Pro Gear uh, Slim in um, Nuts, Shirakashi Nuts, uh, that pen comes with one of these full bottles of ink. So maybe by year's end, if I can save uh, some money and if the pen is still available, I might get uh, that pen. This isn't a shimmer ink. It's not a sheening. I, I don't think it's really a sheening ink. But what I love is that it starts out really dark, a dark ink, and then it brightens and lightens up to more of like a brownish, like a greenish brown ink. And it lightens a little bit. Okay, I have it inked with one of my favorite pens, the Diamond Mini Rose Gold in a fine nib. And you will see this color change over time. Might be more apparent in the writing sample. This is Sailor. Oops. This be mini rose gold. Fine nib. And I have found that this pen is so easy in my hand. It write I write so well, like there's not much cramping. It feels really comfortable. And as you can tell, my hand is small enough that I can write with it unposted. But what I have noticed these days is that I am writing with my pens posted. At first I thought I didn't like it because it was heavy, but I'm finding that with a little bit of that additional weight in the cap when I have it posted, it balances really nicely where I have less pressure to pinch it so much. It kind of rests in my hand nicely uh, with posted pens. So I'm finding that though I typically do write with pens unposted, like the last few weeks I have been writing with pens posted. Okay, well, it still looks really dark. I mean, the ink swatches, I think, just is going to remain dark because I did add three drops. But what I love is just uh, the way that it, it changes. It changes color. Maybe not as drastically as like citrus black or cassis black, like those sorts of um, inks. But uh, this one is just one of my favorites. Oh, this is another one of my favorites. This is Diamine Green Umber. And I love it because it's also a muted green. I'm gonna provide some voice over here because at this point in the video, my daughter came home from school. And so there was a lot of banter and I just wasn't able to do my usual talking in the video. But here I have paired uh, the green umber with my factory or my traveler's company uh, brass fountain pen. This is really one of my favorite everyday carries. Um, it's really comfortable in my hand, even though it has a smaller grip section. Uh, somehow it is really comfortable to write with, very well balanced. I love the weight of the pen. And even though it is a brass pen, uh, it doesn't feel heavy in my hand at all. And uh, this particular ink, I really enjoy. I love how muted the color is. Um, I've been 
I've been really into the sort of verdigris, uh, kind of the, the deeper sage green colors these days, like the gray green colors. I think I was inspired after getting my uh, Pilot's Custom 743 pen in verdigris. I did a little bit of a Wikipedia and a Google deep dive into the color. Um, and, and so now I am kind of obsessed. Um, and it happens to be one of my favorite ink and pen combinations at the moment. This next ink is Sailor Shikiori Tokiwamatsu. And this is uh, just a beautiful saturated green ink that I have currently paired with my Leonardo Memento Zero in uh, Foresta Umbra. And uh, this is just a very, very nice and comfortable pen and ink pairing. Uh, the pen is really comfortable to write with. I have noticed sometimes, um, particularly with upstrokes in the beginning of a word, for example, there's a bit of a hard start. So I'm not sure if it's because it's just such a new pen and I need to um, kind of get it get it broken in a little bit. But um, once I have that out of the way, the whole writing experience is really, really nice. Very bouncy nib. Um, yeah, I, I really, really love, love that this is my first Leonardo pen. This ink isn't a super sheener, but it does offer a lovely copper brown sheen. And it pairs really nicely with my Foresta Umbra green and brown pen. And this is one of my perennial favorite inks. It's Wearing Okyonghi, and I have it paired with my Twisby Eco Clear. What I what I love about this ink is that, I mean, I guess you would consider it a quote unquote standard ink. There isn't any shimmer. There isn't any sheen. Um, there is there is a bit of shading, um, but it's just the color itself. It's like this really warm orangish <laughs> caramel color. Um, and in a previous video, I've compared this ink to, I think it's those vintage Sarasa clip pens in the camel color. I've been trying to find um, a dupe for that, that camel colored ink. And I just wanted to mention that this ink paired with my Clear Twisby Eco is a wonderful combination because the wet fine nib showcases the color itself and it's a wet writer. Absolutely love it. Now I have Diamine Ancient Copper, which happens to be one of the first inks that I bought um, in my fountain pen journey. I mean, you can look online and you'll see why, why everyone loves this ink. For me, I think number one, it's the fact that it's a warm autumnal color, perfect for the season. Um, it's a beautiful, like rustic, rusty color, and um, it's red leaning, but it's also brown leaning. And uh, there's just something really warm and comforting about this pen ink color. I have it inked in my Twisby Eco Rose Gold in an extra fine nib, and I, I just love this pen as well. I, if you can't tell by now, I love Twisbees and aesthetically, I just love the look of the white and rose gold. Okay, now my voiceover portion is over and back to the original video. Some time has passed and there are still a few inks where the water or the ink hasn't really dried all the way. And I think it's because I just put down a ton of ink. So it's not that they're slow to dry. It's just more that I laid down a ton of ink. Um, but these are my autumn inks for the month of October. You can tell that uh, Shirakashi and Tokiwamatsu, they're darker greens, but this one is definitely more like a sage green black, a muted green black. And um, I guess you can't really tell the difference between the writing sample and the ink swatch, but I certainly notice it well, well, yeah, you probably, you, you definitely notice it when you are writing and the ink slowly changes as it dries in color. And I think that's part of the character, the, the quality that I appreciate the most about this particular ink. Uh, Tokiwa Matsu is a beautiful forest green that has like this kind of like copper brown, reddish brown sheen. Wearing all Architecture Infinite Cube has a beautiful green sheen to it. Diamine Green Umber 
doesn't really have sheen. Neither does Wearing Old Kyunghee or Ancient Copper. But uh, it's this beautiful muted, almost like um, it kind of matches my sweatshirt. But this is more of like a muted green, green brown. Well, more like green. Wearing Old Kyunghee, still one of my favorite vibrant like golden yellow orange colors. And Diamine Ancient Copper, there's just something so beautiful about this ink. I can see why it's one of the most popular inks uh, among the fountain pen community. And then with Othello, you see how it's this beautiful gray with like silver, pale blue silver shimmer. I wonder if it captures, if you can really see it on camera. And Shirakashi has a little bit of a sheen in the ink swatch. You don't see it so much, very faint in Shirakashi or in the writing sample here. None of these are major sheening inks. Um, if any, I mean, if I were to consider which one would have the most sheen, it would definitely be Architecture Infinite Cube because I can see some shimmer in the writing samples. But these inks, have to be some of my favorites. Um, and right now, uh, for the month of October, probably my top four, no, I would say top five. My top five inks would be Architecture Infinite Cube, Diamine Green Umber, particularly with Factory Green, uh, with my Traveler's Company brass pen. Wearing Old Kyunghee is a perennial favorite, and Diamine Ancient Copper. And did I say Shirakashi? Shirakashi as well. So that is my currently inked for the month of October. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.